In the latest Real vs Fake video, I'm going to be teaching you how to spot a fake Balenciaga logo sweater. The tips I'm going to be sharing with you in this video are based on the All Over Logo crew neck, which you can see on screen now. If you want to have a look at the product ID, you can see that that's the lowest line of text in the image. Be sure not to ignore that because there are a lot of different authentic variations of Balenciaga's logo sweaters, and you don't want to be using some of the tips I'm going to be showing you in this video on a completely different sweater. As an example, on the screen now you can see a v-neck version, a cropped fit version, a relaxed and oversized fit version as well. Even the actual logo has changed on some of the sweaters and the product ID of all these items are different. So like I said, just be very careful with what you're using this video to help you with. That being said, the first tip I'm going to be sharing with you will be applicable to any Balenciaga sweater and any tips where I'm talking about the garment quality, that will be applicable to any sweater as well. All right, cool. So let's get started with the tags. Real on the left, fake on the right. As you can see, there's a slight color difference, but what I want you to actually pay attention to is the sticker inside this tag. So as you can see here, the barcode sticker has various details on it. We're gonna take the second half of characters from the category style box, all the characters in the fabric box, and all the characters in the color box to create the product ID code, which we're gonna then type into Google to cross check and see whether the fake product is actually correct. After searching this code, the search results clearly show a different product. There's even a link to the actual Balenciaga product that this code belongs to, and that gives us even more certainty that the barcode sticker attached onto the fake product here can't be legit. In contrast, if we do the exact same thing using the codes on the sticker inside the real Balenciaga tag, we can see that the search results are now showing the correct product. This can be cross-checked again on the relevant Balenciaga product page, and as you can see, everything adds up. The product ID code matches what was seen on the barcode sticker. One other cross-check you can do is comparing the codes on the barcode sticker with the codes on the inner label of the sweater. There are some color-coordinated arrows on the screen now so you know which codes are supposed to match with one another. We know this product's fake because the codes don't match, but funnily enough, the label codes are actually correct on the fake sweater. This goes to show that fake products can easily have the correct codes on their labels, so you'll need to be mindful of that. I'm going to move on now, but if you want some more in-depth tips on how to spot fakes using just the labels, that'll be detailed in the member section of MrCloserLook.com on the Balenciaga Sweater Rule vs Fake page. I'll leave a direct link to that page in the description once the page is uploaded. Okay, so up next I'm going to speed through some additional telling points, the first of which is in relation to garment quality. If you look on the fake now, you're going to see some small holes just above the bottom ribbed hem. The genuine Balenciaga sweater has been made to a much higher standard, so you won't see holes of that size above the hem. When checking the elasticity of the ribbed hems, the real deal was more flexible. You can kind of just see that when looking at the shape, as you can see the real one curves a bit, whereas the fake one was much straighter and therefore looked a bit more loose. The ribbed cuffs on the fake Balenciaga sweater were also much looser than those seen on the real deal, and that was another differentiating factor between the two sweaters. Another thing you might want to do is check the consistency of the colour and the knit. On the fake Balenciaga sweater, you'll notice that the top area is darker than the lower part. This shouldn't be the case. On the real Balenciaga sweater, the colour stays consistent throughout. We've then of course got the all over Balenciaga logos. For this particular model, the logo on the fake Balenciaga sweater is too blotchy and thick. And if we then take a view from further back, we can see the difference more clearly. Moving on to the collars, the collar of the real Balenciaga sweater had a tighter, fuller appearance in comparison to the fake, which looked kind of flat. The neck labels were very similar, there were some slight differences in the space in between the letters, and also you could see the individual threads that make up the logo more clearly on the real label, but these were very minor differences so you'll have to look closely if you're going to notice them. That brings us to the end of another video, if you found this one useful make sure to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well, and I'll see you again on the next one.